good morning everybody welcome back to my channel all right guys so um we have a couple of updates to talk about this morning but um before we jump into that there's a couple things i want to say so i've been receiving a lot of messages on social media as well as comments on my videos asking me to do a live um people want to see a live stream where we can all discuss the Summer Wells case and any other case that is out there that you guys want to discuss. And I would love to do that, but I just learned that I'm not able to do a live until I have a thousand subscribers. Unfortunately, I'm not at a thousand yet. So if you're watching this video and you're one of the ones who have not subscribed yet, because it does say that 91% of my viewers are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now so that we can do a live together. Um, I would really like to be able to jump on here and do live videos where we can all discuss it. Again, you know, there's a lot of comments that are really great on my videos and you guys point out some really amazing stuff. So how great would it be if we could all get on a live stream together and openly discuss this in the comment section or someone could jump on live with me and we can talk about this for our audience. That would be really great because we need to get the words out there. A lot of people don't know a lot of stuff so you may have information that the next person don't know and it could potentially help solve this case or at least get a little bit closer to solving it. Um, I really enjoy what we're doing. It's just, you know, a lot of my viewers are not subscribing to our channel and again, you know, if you like what you're seeing, you like the content, and you enjoy watching my videos, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications bell so you don't miss a video, and we can discuss this live together. So let's try to get you to a thousand subscribers just so that we can do this um, live together. All right, so a couple of things to update. Um, so apparently they are looking for a red Tacoma truck. Um, I will show a picture of it right here. Um, that truck is, that truck is, um, they're not currently being looked at as a suspect, but they do want to question the people who drive that truck because they may have been a witness to something. So that's very interesting to me because I'm wondering like, you know, what kind of question. do they have for the person who drives the red truck um i'm wondering how close they were when they were seen you know when the red truck was caught on camera how close were they to the house when summer went missing and it's really interesting um and they're really pressing this issue it's all over the news so go look it up or i'll, I'll actually insert a little clip if i can um, but they are really looking for this red truck. They want to find it. So if you guys have any tips or you've seen this truck, um, especially if you're in that Beach Creek area, please let the person who drives a truck like that know because you may know the person if you're in that area. Um, you know, and if you do, then let them know so that they can be questioned. That might get us closer to solving this case as well. Um, so that was really interesting. I've, I've seen that in, um, it stuck out to me because I'm like, I wonder what kind of questions that they have, you know? They said actually there was some white buckets on the back of the truck. So that it's a red um, Toyota, I believe it is. Um, and it's about a 19, late 1990s to uh, early 2000s truck. So you guys seen the picture of it. 
you know anybody who drives one similar who lives in the area let them know to contact authorities so that they can be questioned they may be a um, witness to something that happened to summer um, they were actually in the area when summer went missing apparently um, another thing that I've seen is that um, the father Don Wells he is actually stating that summer's favorite song was Godzilla and that's an Eminem song for those of you who don't know I can't play the song because of copyright claims but go listen to that song really quick because I just listened to it and um I found some of the things that they said in the song a little bit disturbing I mean I know that it's just a song and you know it may have came on the radio or you know maybe they listened to that music and Summer picked it up and heard it from them and she just liked the beat of it because she loved to dance maybe that's what it was but some of the things that they say in that song is really like disturbing um if y'all know Eminem's background he has a he has um a reputation for saying some stuff that is a little bit um disturbing you know Eminem I've always liked Eminem but he he has some issues okay like Eminem don't get me wrong in fact when I was younger I loved Eminem but um he says some pretty crazy stuff so if you are a five-year-old little girl I'm pretty sure she didn't quite understand what that stuff meant but it, it still disturbed me a little bit just to hear him say that that was his that was her song like I'm like really like I think they even talk about murder in that song. I've tried to listen to it. Some of it I can't quite understand. But I know that they were talking about blood and murder. And, and like, okay, that's way over top, over the top. Because she's missing right now. And you are saying that that is her favorite song. So, um, was it her favorite song? Because that's what she was exposed to is stuff like that. She was always exposed to stuff like that. So, she was, you know, that she had no choice but to like that song. Because that's the kind of music that they put around her. She should be listening to like little girl music and, and watching cartoons, not listening to Eminem talking about murdering someone. Anyways, um, so what do you guys think about the song? Did anything in particular stick out to you when you listened to it? Um, because it really did bother me because like, you know, she's five years old and she's missing and he would say that she enjoyed that song that just really, really didn't set right with me. Um, also apparently Donald Wells is upset because people are accusing him of doing something to this little girl and, um, he's upset because people are accusing his wife and he's defending them saying that they're victims as well. You know, it's not looking good for them. I've even seen on, um, I think it was AB, um, so shout out to them, um, him, AB's live where they were saying that the plants in the pictures that we seen of the house when they were plants and the flowers were plants that could potentially cause um you know they could get you like high or they they could like poison you like it could poison humans i guess and there was a text message apparently sent to donald from from candace the mom saying that she had given summer candy and they kind of thought that maybe um maybe candace was saying candy like i had given her a piece of candy kind of like indicating that she had given her some of the plant because it can you know it's toxic to human and um it's that's really weird that she would even say you know i give her a piece of candy i couldn't find her and i gave her a piece of candy it's like okay why would the piece of candy stuck stick out to you it just doesn't make sense like why would that be something that you would want to include in the text message and that's kind of what ab was saying is that it didn't make sense to him as to why she would say that and so it doesn't make sense to me either i actually felt like that was a little bit weird so what do you guys think about that um if you know anything about plants let me know you know what they're called i cannot remember it i watched the live but it still is like, I cannot remember for the life of me what that plant was called. I th think it started with the M, but I'm not sure. So I need to um, go back and look at that again. Um, I had notes written down, but they're at home and I'm not at home right now. So I figured I would film this really quick and put it out there for you guys. But yeah, apparently they were growing some plants that could be toxic to human, especially a child. And a lot of people are speculating that 
um, because Candy, I said Candy, listen to me, Candace said to Donald that she had given Summer a piece of candy that she may have meant she give her, she gave her a piece of the plant. So not sure what she meant by that, but that is a little bit odd as well. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Remember guys, I'm really pushing this issue because I wanted to do a live with y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so we can get this content out there. And um, yeah, for the ones who have been watching and following my channel since day one, I really, really appreciate your support. And I just want to tell you guys that you are what keeps this channel going. Um, honestly, like I would not be doing this if I didn't have all of your amazing comments and your amazing support because this is very challenging. It, it actually can consume your life. I have been thinking about this little girl in Cash Gurnan and all the other children who have been missing or abused or murdered. And it is really, really, really upsetting. But, you know, I'm trying to keep these updates coming for you guys. So make sure you, um, you share this video if you know anybody who would like to watch it and hit that subscribe button let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the plants about the red truck and about donald's comments on um social media also one other thing before we go i always do this i know always putting something at the end um i also was reading a it was on ab's channel as well um, they had something on there about on social media, a girl said that apparently she had seen Summer and Summer was asking her for help and she felt terrible because she did not help Summer. That was really weird to me as well. She said that she um, blames herself because she didn't help Summer and I'm going to post that picture right here so you guys can read it and I'll make sure to extend the time on it so you guys can actually read the full thing. And a lot of people were criticizing the girl because she had said like she should have helped her when Summer asked her for help and they were like why the hell would you not help her like she's asking you for help if a child is asking me for help I'm going to drop everything I'm doing and help her. Ah, uh, Like that is so disturbing to me because I'm thinking like if I remembered seeing this little girl and she was asking me for help and I didn't do anything to help her and then this happened I would feel horrible but in the girl's defense maybe she didn't realize that Summer was actually in danger um but I don't know you guys let me know what you think in the comment section I will see you guys soon make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and hit the post notifications bell so you don't miss a video see you guys soon